guys. So, as you can gather, we're doing a dead mall video today, and this one is about the Walpole Mall in Walpole, Massachusetts. So you can see I'm entering now. And the first problem, the door, the entrance is out of order. Well, let's see if that still holds up. And nope, they lied. Right to our left, we see that we have a sleepies that doesn't look like uh, many people are out on a Friday night buying mattresses. And to our right, we have the Old Country Buffet. One of the few reasons people came to this tiny mall in the first place. Now, most of the tenants here are, mm, I guess you could say, health and personal care. So you got dental place, GNC for exercise, supplements, uh, spa, and a nails place. And coming up looks like a sign for a cellular service place where you can get your phone fixed and buy accessories for your cell phone. I don't remember this being here when I was here the last time, three years ago. But I don't think I'm going to be needing it anytime soon. And if you need to rest your back a little bit, there's some vibrating chairs. Or if you want to kill some time, you can head to the arcade. It's called the Dream Machine. Well, I guess we'll check that out soon. But here's a very nice shot. really like the lighting. It's very creepy. And if we continue over here, a common sight in the Walpole Mall, which is an empty storefront. Looks like it's under construction. Not much to say here. So how about we go and get a look at what once was the Old Country Buffet. A place I've never been to. And a place I probably never will go to. But I guess this kind of was kind of popular for people in the area just like it's permanently closed. Wonder how what they're going to turn that into. And here behind us we have the Dream Machine Arcade. Very, very cool. Nice looping shot here. Can't really say that I'm going to run out to the Walpole Mall to get in one of those coin-operated rides. I also noticed that the Dream Machine had Jurassic Park in it, so I was going to check it out but didn't. Uh, due to the lack of prominence of the Walpole Mall, I had a lot of trouble finding information. I don't know when it opened from people I've talked to who are older than myself, no disrespect. They uh, informed me that it's been around at least since the 70s. So, that's what I know there. I know, though, that their Facebook page has 666 likes, meaning that they're dealing with the devil, which might explain this desolation you can see here. Moving on, we'll continue, and you can see to the left you have one of those eco ATM things where you deposit your phone or some crap like that and get like ten bucks, which is actually on the website as a featured tenant, which tells you which uh, tells you a lot about this mall if a kiosk is a featured tenant. New tour, right? We have more empty space, which I saw a guy wheeling carpets out of, and then into a store that is coming up on our right. So I guess that's just a general purpose place. I will say, though, uh, I'm impressed. The Walpole Mall actually does have real plants. I did break that leaf. Sorry, nature. I will give it to the mall, though. Uh, it's it's well-maintained. I guess uh, that's kind of understandable since there aren't too many people walking through in the first place. But it's probably not neglect of management as to why this mall is very dead. And uh, coming up on our left over here, we have a hurricane simulator. This is something my mom used when we came here after coming to uh, the Texas Roadhouse, which is probably the only reason why you'd be in this plaza, is for food or something else. And uh, yeah, it's two bucks per ride, so have fun with that. I, I don't think I'd want to throw down two bucks to be in a hurricane simulation. And it doesn't look like many people are in line for this either. And uh, I will reiterate, this is on a Friday. And the Walpole Mall is not the place to be. The South Shore Plaza in Braintree, which is uh, east of here, probably 15 minutes away, is the place to be by comparison. Uh, here's probably one of my favorite spots. It's the gymnastics place that's opening in 2015, which is really strange because it's actually 2016. So I don't, I'm not even going to try and figure that one out. Looks like it's open, but they just didn't alter the sign. Now, over here, I don't know if this used to be some place. There looks like it looks like there's a door on some wall that was put up recently, and some 
real plants, like actual real living plants. I will say that the Walpole Mall would be a good place for a Vaporwave or Mall Soft album cover. And here's probably one of the few reasons you'd be here aside from the Old Country Buffet, the Barnes & Noble. Uh, you can see that the Barnes & Noble exits into this area. It does have a storefront entrance like the other strip places. So I mean, as you can see here, it's just so desolate. There's no reason to go to the Walpole Mall, uh, not even to walk laps. Not to bring your kid to this play place, it's just a boat very soft boat, and I mean, there's just nothing that grabs your attention that'll make you come in here intentionally. You'll just come here by accident, which is what we did when we went into the Barnes & Noble. So I wouldn't say that this mall is dead because of poor management. I would say that it's just not a, des a destination on your way to Boston. You know, you come to this area, this plaza, and you see all these other stores and other places to eat like five guys and you're just gonna stay out there and not come into the mall because there's no uh there's no through way but we're going to go through this door and see where it leads us i can expect a creepy little ghost girl at the end of this hallway waiting for me so let's see if i will survive to the end of this video all right uh kind of reminds me of this game i played called fear Definitely some creepy places in this mall, uh, even though there's probably less than a two dozen people walking around at this time. And it's just a bathroom, which we're not going to enter because I have a camera and we don't want to have any misconceptions. There's actually an upskirting incident here uh, during the summer, I think. That's the only news I could find about this place. Really isn't much. So that about wraps up the Walpole Mall. Unless you would end up here by accident, or you are walking a very small space and taking short laps and you need muscle supplements from GNC, you will probably not be here. So, I look forward to doing a few more of these videos of dead malls in the New England area. Uh, if you're from the area and you got any dead malls you want to hear from Rhode Island, Southern New Hampshire, Massachusetts, let me know. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. We uh, hope to bring you more content soon.